Hey guys, Mr. Zigner again. We're looking at lesson 7-2, the percent proportion. All right, in this lesson, we'll be trying to find the percent, the part, the whole, and even look at a real world example to wrap things up. All right, so what is the percent proportion? We're gonna be solving problems using it, so what does it look like? Well, here it is right here. It's basically a proportion, just like we've done in previous chapters, but this time, one of the ratios is the part over the whole. So I'm kind of imagining like five slices of pizza out of eight on a whole pizza. And that's going to equal the percent. I'll just do an N there over 100. So if you needed to figure out the percent that five is of eight, you could set up this proportion and then do your cross products to solve. All right, well, let's try some out and see what this will look like. Well, the first thing is if you have to find the percent, the question might be worded like this. And that's the problem. We're going to be given these worded problems and we have to figure out what thing we have to solve. In this case, this first one is the percent. What percent of six is three? So here the percent is above the 100 with a variable because that's what we have to figure out. Of six, a little trick here is the word of indicates the whole, which is going to be the denominator. On the other hand, the word is lets you know what the numerator is. Is is the part. So is three. So try to remember those rules. Of is the denominator. Is is the numerator. All right. So now we also might have to figure out the part. So that might look like this. What number is, okay, so we're missing the is number, that's our part, 50%, so there's our 50 above the 100 of 6. And again, the 6 is going to be the denominator because it's next to the word of. We also might have to find the whole, and that'll look like this. And we have 3 is, so our 3 is in the numerator, the is is always the numerator, 50%. So again, we put our 50 over 100 of what number of again indicates that denominator and there's the whole that we have to figure out all right let's try some ourselves so what percent of 80 is 28 well the first thing i like to do is set up my proportion right there i always start with that two fraction bars equal sign in the middle 100 as the denominator of the one ratio now let's go through this. So what percent? Okay, that's the thing I don't know. I don't know this percent. I'm just going to label that as a variable x. Of 80. Of is my whole. So that's going to be the denominator. So my 80 goes right down here. Is 28. The is is the part. So that's going to go up here in my numerator. And now we have to do is our cross products and solve. 80 times x is 80x. 28 times 100 is 2,800. Now we just isolate that variable by dividing by our coefficient. That cancels out. Got an 80 over here. So we have x equaling, you know what? Let's let the calculator solve that for us. So that's uh, 2,800 divided by 80. There we go, 35. So it's 35% because that 35 was over 100. All set. So 35% of 80 is 28. New one. What number is 65% of 180? So again, I set up my proportion. Now I start plugging in my numbers where they belong. What number is? Okay, so I'm missing the is. Do you remember what that is? That's the part. Whatever is next to the word is, is the part. So in this case, that's the part I'm missing. 65%. Okay, as soon as I see that percent, I like to put that right above the 100. Of 180. That of is my whole. And that's going to go right there. Now we're just right back to our cross products and we solve. So 100 times x is 100x. Just for speed, 
let's let the calculator handle this part. So 180 times 65. That's 11,700. And now we just isolate that variable again. And we're dividing by the coefficient, that number right next to our variable, and that cancels out, equals 1, and 1 times x is x. Oh, this is easy. I don't need the calculator for this part. Cross it off, cross it off, and we're left with 117 divided by 1, which is, of course, 117. Is that one of the choices? Yep, there we go. So, 117 is 65% of 180. Moving on. 36 is 40% of what number? All right, before I get too far ahead of myself, set up my proportion. Here we go. 36 is, there's my part, is is always the numerator. 40%, that percent always goes above 100. Notice I don't write a percent sign. You shouldn't do that because we're putting the 40 above the 100. As soon as you do that, you actually drop the percent sign. Okay, but moving on. Of what number? Oh, so that's the thing I don't know. I don't know my of, my whole. All right, little cross products and we've got it. 40x, 36 times 100 would be 3,600. Divide by 40 to get rid of my coefficient. Got x on this side. Divide by the same 40 on this side. Let's cross off my zeros. Divide them out. So I've really got 360 divided by 4. I think I can do that myself. Let's see. 36 divided by 4 is 9. And then I've got this extra 0. So there we go, 90. So is that one of my choices? Yes. There we go. So 36 is 40% of 90. There we go. What's next? Ah, word problem. The students at Greenview Middle School have raised $250 so far in their annual fundraiser. This amount, okay, what amount? It's, it's the 250. This amount is 5% of their goal. Okay. What is the fundraising goal for the students at Greenview Middle School? Alrighty, well, set up my proportion. Let's plug some numbers in here. Oh, well, it's 5%, so that goes here. Now I have to figure out what the 250 is. Is that the part or the whole? Well, according to this question, they're still raising money and they want more. The 250 is only the 5% of their goal. So that's the part. 250 is the part. It's not the whole thing. They want to raise more money. So the whole would be the denominator. The part they've raised so far is 250. Okay, now some cross products and we'll figure this out. Well, five times X is five X, 250 times 100, 25,000, divide by five, divide by five. That cancels out, it equals one, and one times X is X. And now let's see here. Well, 25 divided by 5 is 5, plus I have 1, 2, 3 zeros. There we go. So it looks like it's $5,000 that they want to raise. Is that an answer choice? Yes, it is. There we go, D. So the students at Greenville Middle School have raised $250. This amount represents 5%. What is their fundraising goal? Well, that's $5,000. They want to raise 5000 and they have 250 so far. Oh, there we are. We're at the end. I hope this was helpful, learning about the percent proportion. If you want, you can certainly start the video over. Sometimes if you listen to things a couple times, it sinks in a little bit better. My students should do the questions below this video on my website. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining me as we work our way through the 7th grade Math Connects textbook. Feel free to email me with any questions. My website is www.mattzigner.com. On my site, you'll find links to my math blog, some of my favorite educational sites, and lots of helpful information for students, parents, and teachers.
see you next time.